Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, and today I've got a couple wishables to open for the lore. I actually got these at the Disney store here in New York City, seemingly one of the only Disney stores to still exist. They're closing them down across the country, but we still have one here in Times Square in New York City, and they had these wishables that they're selling at the Disney parks, and this series is the Smuggler's Run Wishable series, where you can either get the Millennium Falcon, Hondo Onaka, who we love from Clone Wars and from Batu, Hondo's droid, R5P8, which is such a niche, niche pick. And of course, for the casual fans, you gotta get a way for people to buy this, so. You gotta put that Porg right there, front and center. It's like, you got the Millennium Falcon with the really cute smiley face, by the way, and the Porg underneath for the more casual fans, and then for the, you know, more serious, intensely nerdy fans like us here at For The Lore, you've got Hondo Onaka and R5P8. So it's a cool balance, and you know what? These are like $15 each, and they they honestly got me, really because of Hondo and R5P8. When I was in the store, I tried to feel around. Like, I feel like this one might be Hondo, or it could be the Porg. This one, I think is definitely the Millennium Falcon. No guarantees, I didn't, I didn't, want to look like an absolute weirdo in the Disney store in Times Square, so I wasn't there for too long feeling around, but you know, that's what you gotta do. You gotta do with these fresh packs. If they don't block it off with some cardboard, you gotta, you gotta give them a little squeeze. It even says it right on the package, squeeze me. They're basically telling you like, hey, we're not gonna totally hide from you what might be in this bag. Cause they're $15 each and getting a dupe would be Pretty sad. Also, while I was at the Disney store, I couldn't help but pass up getting Miss Minutes here. I mean, look, look at this. Like, this is, this is what, this is what we want. This is exactly, like, it just looks really good. I couldn't pass it up. By the way, before I open up these wishables, we just opened up a merch store to just see if anyone wants a For The Lore shirt. We're not really sure if we were big enough creators to make a merch store, but it's there. It's available for you. If you want some For The Lore merch, we would much appreciate it. Back to the wishables. There are kids screaming outside. Not sure if you can hear that, but I've done enough talking. Let's open these bad boys up. So I believe this is the Falcon, which is honestly, weirdly enough, the one I wanted, which is not usually like me. I would, if anyone knows me, they would probably guess I would want anything else besides the Falcon on here, but weirdly want the Falcon the most. So I think that's what this one is. We'll see. Then I thought this one was Hondo, which I also want. And this one is R5P8, I think, but not positive, so let's just crack these open and see what they are. I'm gonna start with the middle, which I thought when I was in the store squeezing them, I thought was Honda. Let's see if I am correct. Dun 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 Sing our own music so we don't get copyright infringement! Okay, I opened it. Oh, I didn't. I didn't open it fully. Oh my god. I did the tear here and it didn't and it didn't tear there. Well, looks like uh, I'll need to get a scissor. Realized I said scissor, but I guess it's uh, a scissors. I'll get a singular scissors. Let me get a scissors. Scissor? Scyther? Okay. Take two. The tear here didn't work. We'll see if the tear here works with the other two. All right, here it is for the reveal. Nice. Okay, I called it. It is indeed Hondo. Looking great. Has a long CVS receipt as a tag. 
So I guess he must be part of the CVS Rewards card holding member program, but that's awesome. I am really glad we got a Hondo. I felt correctly, it was indeed Hondo. You know what? I, I'm only like now realizing, cause it's really accentuated on this little mini plush, that Hondo is a glasses man. I, I honestly never, I, he like wears sunglasses, right? He doesn't like wear glasses like, like we do here at For The Lore, Alex and I are glasses men. But I love this plush because it's really accentuating a look of Hondo being a glasses man, which he isn't exactly. He does have like shades, but he does not look nearly as nerdy as he does right here, right? Am I wrong about this? Let's put him right there for now. Okay, we're gonna go for what I'm thinking should be R5P8 if it's another Hondo. I'd be a little upset, but I'd also be willing to give him away to one of you, so let's see, let's see. All right, we're gonna try the tear here. Thinking it's the droid. Wow, taut. Okay, that worked. I did not need the scissor. And yes, <laughs> two for two. I am really calling it. And R5P8 also does have a rewards card at CVS. Fun fact. I also have the Disney Store die-cast figure of R5P8. Pretty sure it's like right here. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. Yeah. So I also have the limited release imported from Galaxy's Edge Elite Series R5P8. Do you, uh, do you see the resemblance? I don't love how the plush has more of a round dome because the R5P8 has, you know, that flat, that flat dome on top. They could have done a little bit more in terms of that, but, you know, this is a cutesy redesign of R5P8, not supposed to be exactly accurate to the lore, but, man, these things are really, really soft and squishy. Yeah, that is, that is a squishy gent. Last but not least, I called the first two. I'm pretty confident about the third. Um, I felt a few. I noticed a lot of them were definitely Porgs, and now I feel like maybe I should go back and complete the collection and just go grab the Porg now that I know that I am a feeling squishables master, because I can almost guarantee this is the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, you could, it was very obvious to feel for. You can feel that in that bag. It was the flatter than the rest. And that is, these are adorable. You know what? These are worth $15 each. How cute is that? The Falcon just has like a little smile. You've got like all the detailing on the, on the top and the bottom and the iconic blue in, on the engines in the back. You even got the, uh, the cockpit. And the Falcon is also a rewards member at CVS with this long dangling receipt. I'm probably not gonna cut the receipts off, but I imagine like if you have a kid playing with this, they are, they are not gonna want that receipt on there. But for some reason I like, you know, these receipts are iconic to the Disney Store plushes. Um, same thing with Miss Minutes. They are all, they're all card holding members at CVS. I, I would recommend if you are giving this to a child that you totally take, you totally cut these receipts off and you can use a scissor. Well, that's the video for you all. I got exactly what I wanted and exactly what I was feeling for in those packs. If you like videos like this, if you like watching either me or Alex open product, hunt for product, make sure to like and subscribe. And then you'll see us next time when we're opening product playing with toys as adults. And again, don't forget to check out our merch store in the description below. I think the merch is pretty universal and cool. It's, it's always weird when YouTubers have merch that's just like their face on a shirt. We are not gonna do that. We just have our logo that just shares our love for the lore, your love for the lore. We're all just here for the lore.